Didn't he, in fact, leave the table to make a telephone call? That was so long ago. Maybe he did. And while he was gone, didn't you literally run to the bar and knock back three martinis? They wouldn't have made me lose my memory like that. But do you remember giving your husband a crystal hookah water pipe imported from China? It was a novelty gift. I never intended for him to use it. But you did intend for him to use the amphetamines prescribed by your doctor, correct? He begged me for them. Said he couldn't get through the day without them. He also begged you not to appear in that fashion show in your underclothes, right? I told right? you he pushed me. Mrs. Gunnison, in fact, you went on the stage in your underwear in order to show your husband, in a drunken attempt, I might add, that you had as good a body as the model. That's correct? absurd! Mrs. Gunnison, when you were in the Boardwalk Motel, when your husband arrived there to pick you up, at that time with your two lost weeks, weren't your first words, take a number, honey, and wait your turn? <sighs> dare you? I could never have said anything like that. Besides, I can't remember anything till waking up in, a, in the hospital. I don't doubt it. No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down. Let me see counsel the bench, please. While Lazy Gunnison leaves the stand, we have time for a break. What's in it for me? I get somebody else to help cook a meal for a change. We asked the Rurick family to make one of their favorite Chef Boyardee pizzas. One of the nice things about making your own is that you can make it exactly the way you want it, not the way that somebody else decides that they want to do it. Sauce is just right. I like the, the crust when it's thick. I like the cheese, and I just like eating it. Mom's the one that really makes it great. <laughs> Chef Boyardee Pizza, you make it great. I like my job. Being a nursing assistant requires a practical, professional background in health care, plus learning to take care of the special needs of the ailing. It didn't take long for me to discover that this was the right career choice. The employment opportunities are good, and the satisfaction of knowing that you are needed makes all the commitment and caring worth it. Call PTC Career Institute at 792-1900 and ask about our nursing assistant program. Call PTC Institute today, 792-1900. Where are you from, Karen? Deer Park, Texas. Texas? Mm-hmm. Is that where they grow the TV guides out there? Well, bigger and better, of course. <laughs> Why do you read TV Guide? It has a lot of information and interesting stories, lots of gossip. Freedom to read TV Guide is one of the original Ten Amendments. There's freedom of the press, freedom of religion, freedom to read TV Guide. I take it in the bathtub with me, and I read it from cover to cover. If you don't read TV Guide this week, you might be missing something. It's the best magazine in the country. Get out of here. It is. Get out of here. You get out of here. Let me do the interview. <laughs> Science and Kirk want you to know that after an accident, everything you say and everything you do can play a critical role in any legal proceedings that follow. So when you're faced with the confusion following an accident, call Science and Kirk's free injury information hotline. Because no matter where you are or what time it is, when you've got a phone, you've got a lawyer. Science and Kirk. We return now to divorce court. About to testify on behalf of Lacey Gunnison is Walter Dietrich. All right, Mr. Kelly, let's proceed with this witness. Mr. Dietrich, did you ever see Mr. Gunnison mistreat his wife? Twice. Elan had a barbecue on Lacey's patio for all the fashion editors. And I saw Chad strong arm her into the house, and I followed. She was crying. He was shaking her dizzy. Then he shoved a glass of wine at her and yelled, if the newspapers want to do a story on her, they might as well see her for the drunk that she is. And what was the second incident? The private detective I hired found her at the Boardwalk Hotel in Colby. When I got there, she was out of her mind. She didn't even know who I was. But she kept calling for that Chad. And what did you do? Well, when she fell asleep, I, I thought she'd be happy to find out he was the one who found her. So I called him and waited in my car until he showed up. He went inside, and then I heard her screaming. And I jumped to the window, and I saw him smacking her around. So it was actually you who took Mrs. Gunnison to the hospital? Right. I sure wasn't going to trust him to take her. No further questions, Your Honor. Cross-examination. Mr. Dietrich, didn't you offer Chad Gunnison $25,000 to leave town before his wedding? I was just testing him to see if he really loved her. And when he passed the test, didn't you trick him into signing the prenuptial agreement? No one tricked him into signing anything. It would have been crazy for her to marry that bum without one. Mr. Diedrich, when you found Mrs. Gunnison at the Boardwalk Hotel, Mr. Gunnison wasn't there, but she was in bed with a young man, not my client, right? Well, yes, but... That, that guy was trying to force himself on Lacey. I got there just in time. And wasn't it you that began smacking her around? 
No, no, I never touched her. Mr. Dietrich, I have the chambermaid from the Boardwalk Hotel, Mary Lou Riley, who is prepared to testify that she heard the commotion and found you alone with Mrs. Gunnison. That's a lie. Miss Riley says you were slapping Mrs. Gunnison around and that you called her a slut. She's a liar. All right, Mr. Dietrich, no further questions. Your Honor, I'd like to call Mary Lou Riley. All right, you may step down. Uh, wait. Miss Dietrich, you may step down. Wait. Look, I just lost my head. That cheap gigolo ruined her. I love that woman. I still do. I was trying to protect her from that scum. But she loved him, not me. It drove me crazy to see her hold herself so cheap. Mr. Dietrich, isn't it true that your ex-wife has been completely out of control for the past three years? Objection, Your Honor. All right, I'm going to sustain the objection to that question. Anything further? No, Your Honor. Ms. Kelly, anything further this witness? The defense rests, Your Honor. Ms. Dietrich, you may step down. Let me hear your closing argument, please. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gunnison was ignorant of his wife's alcoholism when he married her. Nevertheless, she humiliated him for many years with her public drunken spectacles. Mr. Gunnison is seeking a divorce on the grounds of mental cruelty. He is asking that the prenuptial agreement be set aside, that he be awarded one half the marital assets of $350,000 and $3,000 per month spousal support for two years. Mr. Kelly. Your Honor, Mrs. Gunnison, a successful businesswoman, was willing to marry this young vagabond without a prenuptial agreement, but he insisted and signed it of his own free will. She gave him a job and supported him to get off of drugs while he exploited her weakness for alcohol, physically abused her, and sabotaged her personal and business esteem in a plot to take over her company. Mrs. Gunnison asked for a divorce on the grounds of physical and mental cruelty and drug abuse, and pursuant to the terms of the pre, uh, prenuptial agreement, she asked that he be awarded no more than 10% of the marital assets and no spousal support. Thank you, Castle. While Judge Keene considers his decision, we have time for a break. A double pleasure is waiting for you. A double pleasure for double this gum. A double great feeling, making you realize double is the one for you. Baltimore, now you have a choice. Choice TV Rental, your number one audiovisual rental store, is offering their three for special. For just $19.95 per week, get a 19 inch color TV with VCR and get a free videotape with your first week's rental. $19.95 per week enables you to tape your favorite television shows today. Call Choice TV Rental now for instant delivery. No credit check, no deposit, no delivery charge. Call Choice TV Rental in North Baltimore, 661-8000. In South Baltimore, 233-3000. Introducing the 98 Rock Morning Crew. We're Corda Lopez. Panzarella. Here's some big stars to tell you about our morning show. What variety. They play my new songs and my classics. Yo, they got airborne traffic. Rock reports and Lopez delivers 100% American news. Absolutely. Ooh, big boy. I just love waking up with Corda Lopez and Panzarella. Props. Uh, just props. Corda Lopez and Panzarella. Mornings on 98 Rock. Baltimore's home of rock and roll back with Judge Keene's decision right after these messages. If you've been thinking about buying an adjustable bed or a quality flatbed, even looking for a flatbed bargain on sale, preview Craftmatic beds and get our price before you buy. Then, even if you don't buy your adjustable bed from Craftmatic, we'll send you this Polaroid Instant Camera free. Craftmatic wants to be your bed company, so check us out. I'm convinced that when you compare quality and price, you'll find Craftmatic beds to be superior to all other beds on the market today. This Craftmatic 2 adjustable bed is so inexpensive, it's like buying a quality flatbed and getting the adjustability for free. So pick up your phone and call us toll free and get this free Craftmatic bed catalog. And this free coupon redeemable for your free Polaroid camera by return mail. Call for your free catalog. And Polaroid camera coupon right away. Call 1-800-228-1300. That's 1-800-228-1300 toll-free. Call 1-800-228-1300. Toll we return now to divorce court where Judge Keene is about to render his decision. Well, the Gunnison certainly proved the old adage that all marriages are happy. 
It's the living together afterwards that causes all the trouble. And this Gunnison marriage of three years was in trouble even before it started with this prenuptial agreement. But once signed, if valid, will be enforced by this court. Now, the key to the decision in this case is witness credibility. I have to decide whether or not Mrs. Gunnison is guilty of the allegations charged by her husband of mental cruelty and alcohol abuse, and or is Mr. Gunnison guilty of the accusations filed by his wife of mental and physical cruelty and drug abuse. I have got to test those allegations by the standard that the law requires, that is a preponderance of the evidence. Now, the accusations here were flying so fast and furious back and forth, and the testimony was diametrically opposed, I had difficulty in deciding this case until Mrs. Gunnison made a grave tactical error, and then everything fell in place. She put her former husband, Walter Dietrich, on the witness stand. Judgment for Mr. Gunnison on the complaint, both grounds, mental cruelty and alcohol abuse. As to the marital property, first, as to this prenuptial agreement, I find that Mr. Gunnison did not know what he signed. It is invalid, and it will not be enforced by this court. Mrs. Gunnison will retain the Elan Swimming Company. However, the marital estate, that is, that property acquired during the marriage, totals $350,000 and it will be, as requested by the plaintiff, evenly divided. I will not order spousal support for Mr. Gunnison. Mrs. Gunnison, there's no crime in growing old. The problem is growing old gracefully. This court stands in recess. Divorce court is a dramatization based on cases and issues raised in the family courts of this nation. None of the participants knows the outcome of the case before hearing Judge Keene's decision. The jurisdiction is a combination of laws of all 50 states, therefore the laws of your community may differ. The cases are argued by attorneys and presided over by Judge William Keene, who served on the Superior Court of California for 18 years. A self-confessed sugar junkie seeks sweet relief from the men of the 12th precinct after losing control in a sweet shop. The laughs are addictive on Barney Miller, right here at 5 on Channel 11. Campaign 86 election night coverage. News 11 puts the technology to work for you, bringing you live updates throughout the night from key campaign headquarters bringing you faster and more complete election returns from News 11's computerized voter tabulation system and exit poll analysis with political expert Ted Venetoulis. News 11, bringing you the coverage you've come to expect on election night. Join Rod Daniels and Vince Gibbons for continuous Campaign 86 coverage beginning with News 11 at 6 tonight on Channel 11.